Sumo wrestlers have a recipe for getting fat. The way that they do it is they eat a big meal and then they go to bed. In a recent paper I read that looked at the thermogenic effect of food. Thermogenic meaning your body's ability to produce heat from the food that you eat. They found when you eat a big breakfast, you produce twice as much heat from the thermogenic effect of that food as opposed to eating that food later on in the day. So one way of controlling your weight is not eating late at night and eating a good sized breakfast, moderate lunch and maybe even, even skipping dinner, obviously that's, that's down to you. But for good quality sleep, you need to drop your core body temperature by about one degree Celsius to fall asleep and stay asleep throughout the night. But if you have a large amount of food right before you go to bed, that will be thermogenic. So your core body temperature will actually start to increase because of having just eaten. Additionally, it would be even worse if the meal includes protein and anything that raises blood sugar just before bed. In another study carried out by WHOOP data, deep sleep in particular and total sleep time corresponded with a specific task in the study, which was impulse control. They found that the amount of overall sleep and deep sleep the subject got was correlated with the actual activity of the neurons in the brain. The more sleep subjects got, the more neuronal activity was observed in the brain and the more the brain was actively engaged in a participant's willpower control. They broke this down to the point that they could quantify an increased ability to resist eating a cookie at night when the study subjects had gotten more deep sleep. Quote, brain data revealed a relationship of cognitive functioning with the WHOOP data that behavior alone could not. So it's a catch-22. If you want that positive feedback loop, you need to increase the amount of deep sleep you get. But you decrease your deep sleep when you eat just before bed and or use digital screens just before bed, such as your mobile, computer or TV. In a five-week online workshop I offer, we work through many such habits to improve areas of your life, including sleep, breathing, nutrition, movement and mindset. Improving your sleep quality and quantity will make a profound change to your life. Go to tonywinyard.com workshop for more information.